Picture this. The bustling city of data where information flows like cars on a busy road. Traditionally, carbon cables have been the backbone of this digital infrastructure for decades, just like the well-traveled highways. But guess what? There's a star in town that's transforming the way data travels. Fiber optic cables. The futuristic highways of communication. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey through the amazing world of fiber optic cables, where light paths the way for a future that is brighter and faster than ever before. Traditional copper cables have long been the workhorses of data transmission. They're like the old reliable telephone lines that we're familiar with. This cable used electrical signal to send data from one place to another. Instead of relying on electrons, fiber optic cable used lights to transmit data. Imagine beaming your data through a super thin beam of lights travel inside a special glass thread. It's like sending your information on a speedy light train. But exactly how does it work? Fiber optic cable has a core made out of glass and is super reflective. And when you send data, the cable turns that data into a series of light bulbs travel down the core and bouncing off the sides in a controlled manner. And at the receiving end, the ports are translated back to data. And the genius of this is that lights travel incredibly fast, much faster than electrons in traditional cables. And this means data can zip across long distance in the blink of an eye. Also, fiber optic cables are less prone to interference, making the data transmission more reliable. So let's break down the fiber optic cable into three main parts, the core, the cladding and the protective layer. As I mentioned, the core is made out of thin glass and is the central part of fiber optic cable. It's like the roll for your data. And the cladding is like a safety guardrail surround the core. It's designed to keep the lights inside the core and protect it from escaping. And the cladding's composition is slightly different from the core because it allows the lights to bounce off the quartz wall and stay on track. To shield the whole setup, we'll have the protective layer. And it's like the sturdy casing that keep everything safe and secure. Then next, I'm going to show you our two string fiber optic cables and the details. So this is a 100 meters two string fiber optic cable. As you can see, this is a pulling eye. This is a clever device that attached to the end of the fiber optic cable. And it's like the handle you put on a suitcase for easy carrying. The pulling eye has a loop or a hook that you can grip onto. And it's designed to be strong and secure, help safely and effectively pull the cable through a tight space without damaging it. And as you can see, we have a tube inside. Now let's open it up. You are going to pull the string just like this. It's kind of hard to pull. Okay. Let's just open it up. Oh, this is where it stopped. And now we can take the whole thing out just like this. As you can see, this is a 90 millimeters conduit tube to relieve the string and protect the pre-made fiber optic cable during the pull. And now let's take it out and unwrap it. And this is our two string fiber optic cable. It has letters on each cable for easy installation. And this is a single mode LC connector. The protective layer is also waterproof and fireproof, so it's for both indoor and outdoor deployment. 
and our fiber optic cable is using LC connector and it's pre-made it. That's why we don't need to worry about the connector and it's 100% tested in the factory. And it can support up to 10G speed and available in 100 meters, 300 meters and 500 meters. And not only single mole fiber optic cable also come with multi mole. Single mole fiber optic cable are optimized for long distance transmission with minimal signal loss while multi mole are designed for high speed transmission over for its shorter distance and the, trans and the choice between two fiber optic cable connectors depend on factors like the distance that you need to cover. Fiber optic cable offer multiple benefits. They deliver blazing speed, enabling like downloading movies in mere seconds. Unlike copper cables, fiber optic cable are immune to electromagnetic interference, ensuring uninterrupted communication. Moreover, fiber optic cable boasts abundant bandwidth, catering to the rising demand of streaming, cloud services, and IoT application. And in terms of security and reliability, fiber optics shine as a secure data transmission channels, deflecting hacking attempts that could threaten sensitive information. So behind me, we have a fiber optic connection using this 300 meters full strength fiber optic cable. And on both sides, we can see this compact little device called the media converter and the SFP transceiver. Since a lot of the devices cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly, that's why we need one of those. And it acts as a bridge between different networks, seamlessly transferring the electrical signal into optical signal for efficient data transmission over fiber optic cable. And here we have the SFP transceiver. This is a compact little device that adds flexibility to the network equipment by providing the capability to connect to different types of fiber optic cable and network speeds. So enough saying, let's do the connection together. So first we have a router on this side and I'm going to use an ethernet cable here, the short patch cord to connect the router. And as you can see, it doesn't have any fiber optical plug. So we're using the short patch cord. And come over here, we have the media converter. Let's power it up first. And then using the short patch cord that connected to the router and connect to the media converter. And the SFP transceiver, this is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. We have full string here. So let's use string C. It has label on each of the string. Plug it in just like this. And plug in the SFP transceiver to the media converter. It's easy as that. And it come all the way to the edge, 300 meters. On this side, we're doing the same thing. The fiber optic cable plug into the SFB transceiver and plug in to the media converter, giving it power. And also the data that connecting to the wireless access point over here. And open up. And we can see the indicator lights are getting on. This is a very simple setup using this fiber optic cable and we achieve 300 meters long distance without anything in the middle. And finally, we have some tips for implementing and maintaining fiber optic cable. First, proper installation. Ensure your cables are installed carefully to avoid damage and avoid bending. Fiber optic cable don't like sharp bends, so handle with care. Next, regular maintenance. Keep your cables clean and free from dust for consistent performance. And also, upgrade your devices and maximize the benefits by using devices that can keep up with the fiber optic speed. Thank you very much for watching us. Don't miss out on valuable tips and exciting discussion. Hit that subscribe button and join our growing community today. And please like our videos and we appreciate for your support.